Hi everyone, today I want to tell you about two different ways to set your camera for street photography in the context of I would, like situations where it's bright and you need speed or where it's a bit darker and you want to go slower so that you can keep your ISO as low as possible. I call these fast mode and slow mode. And the idea behind these settings is that you can maintain as much control as possible while still keeping things as automated as possible. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the fast mode. What I mean by fast mode is aperture mode plus auto ISO. And then um, I'm going to turn auto ISO. So to do that, we go to this auto high over here. When I have that selected, if I hit function two, I get a menu where I can choose a maximum ISO, a minimum ISO. Then it says change shutter speed, but really what this is, this is a minimum shutter speed. And I like to use a 250th, which is actually the highest one you can do on the Ricoh GR2. And that's what I do for my quote unquote fast mode. So then when I'm shooting, if I'm focusing on stuff, you can see that the shutter speed stays at a 250th and the camera automatically changes the ISO. Of course, I still control the aperture and I choose whatever aperture is best given the lighting situation. So the fast mode comes in handy in situations like this where I'm just walking along. On a side note, shame about this shot would have been much cooler if she was closer to that poster on the wall. But anyway, because things are, are moving and I'm moving and the camera's moving, I try to keep the shutter speed at a minimum of a 200, 1 250th of a second. Therefore, this is my quote-unquote fast mode. Same thing here. Even in this situation, you can see the man is ever so slightly motion blurred, so an even slightly faster shutter speed could have been good. Uh, in this situation, things are not moving so much, but nonetheless, they could suddenly start moving. Therefore, I want to be ready for it. So, a 250th of a second, is the minimum and if the ISO goes up to 640, 800, even 1600, this is totally acceptable for me. All right, so you can see I took a bunch of shots here and that it also helps me, it allows me to take more photos quickly without worrying about camera shake in my hands. I don't have to be super steady at a 250th of a second. Okay, here in a pretty dark situation, I still maintain the minimum because I'm still expecting some somebody walking through, therefore I stay ready for it. And anyway, with the aperture wide open, the ISO was only 400. Okay, here we go as well. Not very fast motion, but you never know. Therefore, I stay ready and I use the quote-unquote fast mode. A minimum shutter speed of 250th with auto ISO up to 3200. When I want to do my slow mode, I change it to um, TAV, okay? And in this case, the shutter speed is no longer automatic. It's no longer the 250th. In fact, I'm in charge of it. So I keep it on a 60th. Sometimes I'll go to a 30th, maybe I'll go to like a 20th or 15th, but those are risky, you know, it starts to, it might shake a little bit, my hands are not that steady. Um, and of course I change the aperture, I'm always in control of the aperture in either mode, because the aperture of course affects the depth of field, it's extremely crucial for the look of the photo, so I never want the camera to control it. It is possible to do all of this with manual, okay, but I don't like to use manual because it takes too much time. I use it, you know, in specific cases of course, but generally when I'm walking around doing street photography, it's either aperture mode with the minimum shutter speed for, of 250th or, ap or TAV mode, which is the shutter speed and the uh, aperture manual, but the ISO stays on auto so that I don't have to worry so much about the exact exposure. From there, of course, I just control the exposure with exposure compensation, which is you know, on the Ricoh very wonderfully, very conveniently placed right here, plus minus, Super, I love this. This is actually one of the best things about the ergonomic, uh, about this camera is the ergonomics. And this is a great aspect of it. So on, when I'm on TAV, it's on a 60th and whatever aperture I'm using at the moment, given the lighting conditions. That way, because the 60th is exactly two stops slower than a 250th, right? My ISO will be two stops lower as well. So if I'm shooting on my fast mode at a 250th of a second, and I'm getting um, an ISO of let's say, 2000, then when I switch to my slow mode and get it to a 60th of a second, the ISO will drop to only, a, to only 500. When I'm walking around and doing street photography of people on the streets, people moving, I keep it in the fast mode because I want to make sure that even my hand just moving as I'm moving the camera doesn't blur the scene and of course the people walking along don't become motion blurred because I want them frozen and sharp. But when I'm in a darker situation like a tiny back passage with this little shrine where it's much darker, I could continue to shoot on fast mode, meaning a shutter speed of 1 over 250, but 
nothing's moving. I don't need a 250th of a second, so I will and have an unnecessarily high ISO. And the point is that in this case, because nothing is moving quickly, a 60th is completely fine to handhold. A 30th is getting a little risky, but I can still do it in most cases. And therefore, my ISO will be four times lower, which saves me a ton of noise, gives me more dynamic range, and improves the colors in the scene. Other situations where I'm using my slow mode is more architectural shots, like this one here, where I'm shooting up between the buildings, and the light coming down is pretty bright, but overall the scene is quite dark, and with a smallish aperture like f4 or 5.6, the ISO would have to be very, very high, unnecessarily high. So I hope that gives you guys some ideas for kind of two different ways to shoot when you do an urban photography. Two ways of thinking about it, two different ways to set your camera. And please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.